Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Credit. Today in this video I will discuss about interview process for data scientists in the UK. I will mainly talk about four different patterns of interview process. Uh, there can be many other patterns as well, but they will eventually having all the stages which I will discuss in this video. So that's there. Uh, so you will know what all stages you need to prepare for. So it does not really matter in what sequence they come. So that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. But as always, if you are new here, often subscribe to the channel, please better subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming credit family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. You will have a friendly call with the hiring manager. And this is common throughout the um, interview process. So it does not matter if you are going for bigger company or smaller company. Usually it starts with a friendly call. but I have noticed that it's not actually a very friendly call. I mean, yes, they they want to know you. They want to tell you about the role. They want to tell you about the company. Also, they want to discuss about your expected salary and what they can offer. So that's there. So it, nothing technical in this round, but they also assess your communication skills. So when they ask you, uh, tell me about yourself. So you need to be very concise, but also you should not undersell yourself. So you need to have very good communication skill and you need to be able to express yourself in a very good way so that they can understand you even better so that is what they assess in the very first round whether you are good with your communication skills or not after that the first pattern which i'm going to talk about is they will uh, straight away jump into the technical rounds so there can be just one round there can be multiple round it all depends on the company and in this technical round, of course, they will ask you about data science because you are applying for data scientist role. So data science stuff like uh, explain me this uh, machine learning algorithm, explain me this deep learning concept, uh, how the mathematics works behind this uh, math uh, machine learning algorithm. So you need to explain all those things. They might ask you about statistical questions. They might ask you about hypothesis testing. They might ask you about uh, how will you test model A and model B against each other? How will you deploy them? So it all depends on the company. If it's a big company, then probably they, wa they won't ask you for deployment stuff because they already have their software engineering team, which will do this uh, deployment part for you. But uh, if your company is smaller, then maybe you will have to deploy these machine learning models which you will train in the environment. So yeah, it all depends on the company. So it's very important that you do your research about the company, what is the scale of the company and what all things they have mentioned in their job description because it's very important to read the job description. There you will get everything what you need to prepare for. So yeah, that's there. And once you are done with all the technical rounds, you will have a call with HR and probably after that you will get your offer. So this is the first type of pattern which I have seen. Now with that, let's move on to our next pattern which is First, you will of course have your friendly call, which will stay common throughout the interview process or throughout the pattern which I will talk about in this video. So I'm not going to mention that uh, anymore after this. So after that friendly call, you will have this coding challenge. So they can give you a hacker rank link or hacker earth link where you will have several problems which you need to solve using your favorite programming language. It could be Python, it could be C, C++, Java, R, whatever you like. and uh, then after that if they are happy with your programming skills they will call you for technical round and in technical round again whatever i discussed in uh, the previous section you will have to answer those type of questions and if they are happy you will again go for hr call and you will have your offer so this was the second type of interview process that i have seen the next one is kind of lengthy but uh, yeah they are very different from the first two which i talked about so your interview process will start with aptitude test. So here it's very different type of aptitude test. What we have seen in India, it's not like that. So here it's more of a gamified version of aptitude test. So you can expect something like you have a canvas in front of you and there will be several lights blinking in certain pattern. And then after some time it will stop and then you will have to remember the pattern. And when the canvas is in front of you, you will have to uh, click on those bulbs or lights in a similar pattern in the way they blinked earlier so you have to do something like that and then you can also expect something like you need to fill air in a bub in a balloon and then it should not burst but then it's kind of random it's not like you will press four times and it will stay 
completely filled and if you stay the fifth time it will burst so it's not like that it can go up to five times it can go up to six times so it's kind of confusing i know uh, i might not have explained it in a very better way but it's kind of gamified version which i don't think i i personally liked it because it just increased the complexity and it does not really test your uh, mental ability i personally like those traditional uh, aptitude questions where you have to solve different type of mathematical problems and stuff so or maybe i'm just too used to with that and that's why i didn't get used to with this so if you like playing games and lot i like playing game but this was kind of very different type of game and it was more of your remembering power rather than your thinking capacity so that's what i didn't like about this round but uh, yeah don't underestimate it and uh, if you can prepare from some platform i would highly suggest you to prepare for it and don't take it lightly so once you clear your aptitude uh, test it you they can give you a coding challenge where again they will test your data structures and algorithm uh, concepts and then you will you can use your own uh, language which which you are comfortable with so it's not like they will mandate you to use a particular uh, programming language so that's there after that they will get into technical rounds which is related to data science and things like that and uh, after that you can have a behavioral or cultural round in this round they usually ask you they will give you a scenario uh, so they, maybe in your work environment person a has conflict with person b how will you resolve it so this is just an example it can be a very lengthy <laughs> description of the problem so things like that and uh, they also ask you about uh, tell me a situation where you were stuck how did you come out of it or uh, tell me um, a situation where you face certain problem and what did you learn from it so things like that they ask you in these kind of rounds and uh, again it's very subjective it, it does not have a right or wrong answer you just need to be very truthful uh, about whatever you say don't try to uh, think like what they will like what they won't because you can never predict what they might like and what they won't so it's always good to just say whatever you actually feel like uh, so yeah this is the round and if you uh, clear this round you will get your offer after having a call with your hr so this is the third type of interview process now with that let's move on to our last interview process so in this your interview will start with a take home assignment so they will give you certain problem statements so it can be a regression problem it could be a classification problem it will be related to data science so you will have to make predictions and apply all the machine learning algorithms and whatever you feel like is good for that problem statement uh, they usually give you one week to solve that particular problem and uh, after that you will have to make a presentation out of it you can use your uh, uh, collab or you can use notebook or you can use powerpoint presentation so whatever you want you can use that and then in the next round you will have to present this problem uh, to your stakeholders or the interviewers and then they will ask you a follow-up questions on this why did you choose this algorithm why did you not go for that algorithm explain me this algorithm explain me the mathematics behind this algorithm so it's kind of easy to predict what type of questions they might ask but then if you answer something very well and if they want to take the interview in some other direction which is not as part of your uh, code or the project which you have done so it could get a little bit tricky but usually it's kind of easy to predict what type of questions they will ask and then you can answer those questions if they are happy with your performance in this round you can directly move on to call with hr and finalizing your offer but if they feel like they want to assess you even more they can conduct another full-fledged data science or technical round where they will again ask you everything from scratch the data science life cycle and all those kind of things and uh, after this if you manage to convince them you will get your offer so that's there yeah so these are the type of different type of uh, interview processes that i have seen here in the uk and uh, they can be multiple other patterns but they will always conduct these stages itself so if you prepare all these stages i think you should be fine and uh, you will be able to clear any interview process so don't be worried about interview process if always try to focus on the technical part and your communication part so if you are good with all those kind of things i think you should be fine 
I think I will make another separate video where I will talk about some of the tips and tricks where what you can use to crack interviews because I have been into multiple interviews and I had multiple offers and I ended up choosing choosing the one which I really like. So I think uh, it should help you. So if you are interested in that kind of video, do let me know in the comment section. I will be more than happy to do that video as well. So yeah, with that being said, I think this is what I wanted to discuss in this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this a like and uh, subscribe, share all those good things. So see you in the next video. Bye. Happy learning.